Um, so did you know, Mar, when I offered you Valchalk, that you were going to be my very first guest? I had no clue. It's an absolute treat. Thank you. Oh, thank you. So, you play guitar for a New Orleans band, Flow Tribe. That's correct. Yes. So, where are you guys playing this weekend? Uh, we will be in Huntsville, Mardi Gras Huntsville, USA, Alabama, and then we'll be at the Bacchus Bash on Sunday. Woo! -woo. Good lineup on that. All right. So, how do you like to travel in life, Mar? Being on the road, doing your thing with the guys. It's uh, you know, give and take. It's, it's, it's it can be tough because I don't think a lot of people realize uh, how much time you spend on the road, how much time is spent taking care of yourself. Stretching. All right, all right, uh, enough of that. All right, enough okay. of that. Tell me about the uh, the gossipy stuff. You know, y'all fight over uh, who who sleeps where and who gets the bigger bedroom or, you know, who gets what food and tell me oh, about no, that. Oh no, no, that stuff never happens with us at all. Oh sure. Yeah. We sure. have a very hierarchical scheme, and, and I think you know what personalities demand uh, the finer things in life. Okay, if you say so. I don't believe it for a minute though. So, how does it feel, Mar, to be a middle-aged rocker? Oh, God. <laughs> you got me there. Uh, you know, it, my bones hurt, that's for sure. My ears are constantly ringing, but I'm having the time of my life. All right. That's for sure. So, do you have any side hustles or hobbies you want to tell us about? Absolutely. Uh, a man's got to have hobbies, that is for sure. And women, too. I don't, you know, gender roles 2020. But anyway... Uh, I make pizza. I, 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 I fancy myself Italian cuisine, the Cucina Italiana. Yeah, I've yeah. had some of it, and it's pretty great. And I don't even eat gluten, but I just had to have a few bites. Oh, it was so good, Mark. Delicious, delicious. Grazie, it was excellent. Bro. Grazie. Molto grazie. So I understand you just finished an album called Hangover of Love. Tell us about it. That's true. Uh, it's one of... Uh, just, you know, had a couple songs laying around that I needed to get finished, and... How did you come up with the title? Most of the songs were inspired by, uh, love gone wrong, or gone right, or finding love, or losing you love. You mean there was, there were women out there that didn't love you more? It's hard to believe. I know. Can you believe it? that, ladies? I don't believe it for a second. Still perplexes me to this day. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I guess the whole feeling of just kind of when you get done with a relationship, that feeling of almost like you get done with a night of intense partying or a Mardi Gras weekend where you're just, you've just been taxed with everything that you have. Rough life, but somebody's got to live it. It's not as depressing as it sounds, folks. Download it anywhere you can get it. Spotify, it's all over the place. So, um, you ready to play a game? Oh, what type of game? This has gotten me in trouble before. <laughs> it's called Box of Questions, and um, we have to cut so I can get that box of questions. <laughs> okay, Mar, ready to play a game? I think so. Let's do it. All right. They got a question here. Give it to me. I'll read it. You answer it. All right. See what happens. It's a little scary. <laughs> Never know what you're going to get in a sass box of questions. <laughs> oh, my God. Crawfish Monica or Crawfish Lewinsky? Oh, I'm uh, allergic to crawfish, <laughs> so <laughs> uh, pass? I don't know. The whiskey sounds a little dirty. Lewinsky. Monica Lewinsky. Yeah. You remember her. You know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, pick out another one there. All right. So what would you rather eat, Mar? One full ladle of diarrhea or two, two tablespoons of roadkill? <laughs> One full ladle, what is that, like eight tablespoons? I would go with uh, the, the roadkill. Can I cook the roadkill? Sure, you can cook the roadkill. I have roadkill. before. All right, yeah. We're in, I'm that sounds good. Yeah, not bad. In fact, invite me over. I'd love to have some, too, with you. Some roadkill. With a little Parmesan on top, oh, you, sprinkled. You know I'll do this. A little marinara Dude, sauce. Of course. Uh, here you go. All right. 
What vitamins do you take daily, Mario? Well, that's a good question. I do a, um, a regimen of just like these greens that um, I probably shouldn't do every day, but I have been. Greens? Vitamins? Greens. They're athletic greens. Yeah. And these are vitamins? They're vitamins. Like in pills? No, it's like a powder that you put in there. Oh. You shake it up. Boring. Like put it really down. Care. Too much information. I've told you, this is, you know, the road ages you in a way that you have to uh, take care of yourself. So, well, who would you rather have dinner with? Caitlyn Jenner or RuPaul? RuPaul, hands down. Oh, my God. RuPaul's an inspiration for sure. He is adorable. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Absolutely. Let's get another question, Mario. All right. Gretna or Harahan? Uh, Harahan. Sorry, West Bank, but, um, Yeah. You know what I don't like about Harahan? Man, those cops love to give tickets. Oh, really? I don't got a few in, in tickets in Harahan, so I try to avoid it when I can, you I, know? I used to live out there, so I, be, I, I have a special little place in my heart for whatever <coughs> that. Yeah, I'm sorry, Val. I'm sorry. Another question, Mar. <laughs> so, fuck, marry, or kill? Martha Stewart, Helen Mirren, and Cher. Uh, <laughs> see, I was gonna get out of this. One. <laughs> well, Sarah would appreciate me marrying Cher. Okay. She would. Um, Sounds good. Who's Helen Mirren? Is that a? Uh, she's that old lady, uh, but she's a great actress, and she's been in all sorts of stuff. But uh, she's really beautiful. I can't even not one hundred one Dalmatians, huh? No, 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 no. Uh, she 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 played like a spy in a movie with Bruce Willis, and oh, she's done a million roles. Okay. She's got an English accent. And then the other. Uh, and was... then Martha Stewart. Oh, I, well, so just not knowing who Helen Mirren is, I would probably have to kill her, and then I'd fuck Martha Stewart. <laughs> Martha Stewart. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. If you say so. <laughs> Another question, Mar. All right. Let's get horny. G-strings or granny panties? Uh, G-strings. <laughs> <laughs> of course, what else? Yeah, what? I just had to do that one in. I just wanted to mouth. say granny panties, y'all. What can I say? Ecstasy or acid? Wow. <laughs> You're really going for the I'm really pouring here them here questions. now, aren't I? Wow. Um, ooh. I got the cops waiting in the back, but don't worry. They, they're not going to interfere. Just, you know, not having done either of those ever in my life, uh, I would just go based off of the word ecstasy seems like more fun. Based off the word, yeah, like we really <laughs> All right. Another question, Mar. Guy Fieri, Emeril, or Gordon Ramsay? Oh. Well, bam, first off, marry there Emerald. There you go. Um, Good old Emerald. Uh, oh, God. Fuck Gordon Ramsay and kill Guy Fieri, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't the question, but uh, I like the answer. Come on, we gotta. <laughs> All right, Mar. What is your deepest regret? Being on this show. <laughs> 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 yeah. 